Consider the person with dementia as similar to a babbling brook. Calm and peaceful, sometimes a raging torrent, always itself. Hello, my name is Dr. Alan Lerner, and welcome to Understanding Cognitive Aging, the Challenge of Dementia and Alzheimer's Disease. Dementia affects almost everybody in our society. I, too, have taken care of my father with dementia, in his case, due to multiple strokes. We present this video in hopes of addressing common questions of Alzheimer's disease and dementia in depth. We have two major learning objectives, seeing the disease from the patient's perspective and exploring the complexities of caregiving. Memory loss does not automatically imply dementia. Indeed, memory is usually not about perfection. Everybody has forgotten something. Everybody has made a wrong turn. Everybody has gotten lost or been late for an appointment. It should be noted that when you experience these small events, it generally does not make you feel better. One can only imagine how the person with dementia is feeling. Normal is a moving target and our mental abilities and mental speed do decline with the aging. What is normal at age 80 is not necessarily normal at age 50, and this decline, once again, does not imply dementia. Normal also has two meanings. The first is how I compare to people similar to myself in age, gender, background, and education. From the patient's perspective, they will frequently say, all my friends have the same problem. The second meaning of normal is how do I compare to what I used to be able to do? Family members and friends are usually acutely aware of this. Some people with mild memory problems have been diagnosed with mild cognitive impairment. Mild cognitive impairment is memory loss without loss of functional abilities. This means that daily activities such as driving, finances, housekeeping are generally intact. However, it often precedes more severe memory loss, which is called dementia. Like in other conditions, it is possible that early recognition will hopefully lead to better outcomes. Dementia is different things to different people. From a medical perspective, dementia is the symptom of memory loss. In that sense, it is like cough or fever and not a diagnosis by itself. Memory loss in dementia is generally present on a daily basis and severe enough to impair daily activities. Most people with dementia are aware of their memory loss, so awareness of memory loss is not part of the diagnostic criteria. The inability to learn new things is a core symptom of dementia. Another symptom of dementia is forgetting names of friends or other familiar people. Many family members will say that their loved ones remember everything from 50 years ago, but not what happened five minutes ago. Common early symptoms of dementia include repetitive questioning or telling the same story multiple times. From the patient's perspective, this might actually make some sense. If I asked my loved one, what are we doing today? and they told me, and I didn't remember it, wouldn't it make sense to ask the question again? One should also recognize that if they don't remember what is said, they may remember how it is said. 